Hey Aries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for mid-November, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the strength at the bottom of the deck, and honestly, things are looking so good, Aries. I, it's, I, okay. I'm already speechless and I haven't even started. You could be dealing with a Leo. However, I feel like the strength is really talking about the fact that a lot of you have overcome some sort of hurdle, some sort of obstacle. And now what you will be seeing is a huge increase in abundance and opportunity. You and someone are also kind of seeing this complete change. Um, I feel like your quality of life is also improving. Like maybe some of you have recently moved. You've recently maybe seen a pay in your or increase in your pay, right? So you're able to kind of live life more comfortably. Honestly, it just looks so amazing that there's so many ways um, to look at it and it feel like it wouldn't make a difference to what the universe is simply trying to say, which is congratulations. Um, you did it. You earned it. You have so much to look forward to, right? I feel like this is just one big applause for you, Aries. We have two of cups, two of pentacles, three of wands, and the ten of pentacles. I feel like you have or maybe have already made an important decision, but I do think that it, in a very... Um, I feel like important doesn't even um, do this decision justice. It feels essential. It feels necessary. It feels like your future could depend in some way in this decision. And I feel like a lot of you are choosing to go in a particular direction, whether this is you're choosing to go for a new job or maybe you're choosing to start a new career. I feel like a lot of you could also be physically moving. Um, and I feel like you and your person are doing this together, which only adds to the experience. And I feel like for those of you that maybe you're not in a relationship or you're not interested in a relationship, honestly, this is about you just finding that increase in your abundance, kind of like walking into this path, having op opportunities, having choices to make, having the empowerment, right, to do these things. And the fact that you and your higher self will be seeing this, right? So if you are not in a relationship, this is about you and your higher self. Aries, you're walking into a gold mine, right? I feel like this 10 of pentacles is saying you will be seeing such a huge difference in the next few weeks that I feel like you will fall in love with your life even more than you already have. Because I feel like some of you have already started to see these changes. You've already started to experience um, these blessings. And I feel like it's just only going to keep getting better and better so let's go ahead and clarify the two of pentacles all right seven of swords at the bottom of the deck wow so i feel like i got a message basically saying choose what serves you um which is obviously like so clear and cliche, but it's almost like you are dealing with a situation right now where something isn't serving you, someone isn't acting in your best interest, and you literally are being put in this position to make a choice to choose what serves you. I feel like someone is making it or will make it absolutely effortless and just so easy for you to choose what's right for you that you have to do nothing but just make the choice right sometimes there's legwork sometimes we have to do certain things to put ourselves in a position to make the right choice someone is doing that for you whether this is divine intervention divine guidance honestly aries if you're dealing with a deceptive energy or someone that is toxic or even jealous whatever the case the universe is saying don't worry about it i have it I've got it under control. All you have to do is just choose what works for you and everything else will make sense. So we have Queen of Wands, the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy, the High Priestess, which is Pisces. And I feel like your intuition is telling you to do something specific. And I feel like you're going to be in that position to do that very thing. And it's just going to explode. I feel like you're going to have such an amazing opportunity in the near future to do something here that really will work for you and create this long-term domino effect of more blessings that it's just there's just so much energy here as well that I feel like I feel that fire from you Aries I feel that determination that go-getter attitude right like you are on top of the world right now and whatever you're doing it's not only going to make you um, incredibly abundant in not just like the physical form right not just money wise but like as a person you're acquiring so much wisdom and experience that I feel like if you were to choose to go in a different direction completely, you would still be prepared for that as well. So a lot of you maybe have recently kind of um, gone through this um, 
transformation maybe you even had a period where you were like unsure if you could really do something maybe you had um you know a moment of the dark night of the soul honestly you've overcome that part so much so that none of that is showing up so if you recently had a rough patch just know that your energy is so clear already that it's not even coming through this is showing up aries as if you were born this way like you were born into abundance it's like your hard work has triumphed so much i mean i i'm just blown blown away and already dropping cards here um let's go ahead and clarify the high priestess all right the moon at the bottom of the deck so again there's something here that has been um a little bit mysterious maybe unclear i feel like the unknown um, is here to represent the fact that there is something on the other side waiting for you. And I feel like your intuition is saying, Aries, this is the perfect opportunity to go for it. Some of you are looking to start your own business. Some of you are looking to start a different career, to start something. And I feel like this is the sign that you need to know that now is the time, right? We have 10 of wands, knight of cups, ace of swords. Mid-November feels like the moment where you just turn everything into gold. It's like you turn every opportunity into the chance to prove to yourself that you you can do it. It's almost like the ace of swords is like the only person you have to convince right now is you. Once you convince yourself and you get the ball rolling and you start doing the things that you know you can do, it's like all the weight of the world and all the things that were stressing you out just seem to disappear. You are the only person you have to convince because Aries, everyone else is on your side. The universe believes in you, right? The universe has your back. You have that divine guidance. Your spirit guides, they're like, come on, what are you waiting for, right? You are the only person you have to convince as to whether or not you can attract and gain this abundance because it's already a part of your destiny. It's already written in the stars for you. You have to decide whether or not you're going to go through with this, face the unknown, and just see what happens. So really amazing, absolutely mind-blowing. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.